What's going on? Welcome on into our trading view layout. This is a question that I've gotten a couple of times. I want to make sure that people understand how and where to get this information. We're talking about how to get real time data on trading view. And this is going to go further than just real time stock market data. This is going to go deeper into, let's say, futures or other asset classes or other things that you want to get real time data for that you might be discovering. Oh, wait it has a little D sign that means, or that says delayed. So for example, if I look over at the VIX on my watch list right here, what I see is that that little yellow or orange D right up in the top corner above the furthest letter or whatever symbol that I'm looking at, if you hover over it, it says quotes are delayed by 15 minutes. And if I was to go down towards, for example, some of these futures contracts that I'm watching right here, here is an example of the March 2023 S&P or the micro e-mini S&P 500 futures. If I didn't have the real-time data for this, it would have a little D up here as well, saying it's delayed by about 15 minutes. If you hover over, you should see some more information. So for example, if I hover over this data or this symbol, it will then show me CME underscore mini. Then it has a dot real time, says I have real time data. And then it has a dot saying market open means I can now trade this or this is a valid you know contract to trade right now uh, as the market's open. And it tells me what I am trading real time data and all that stuff. Okay, so we're on our platform right here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is go up to the top left, okay? So where it says your username, there will be an option where I have the premium version of TradingView. So I'll leave a link down below. If you don't have that, I'm sure you probably already do. But if you don't have an account, haven't signed up, sign up with that link down below in the video description box, and then you'll be good to go. So from there, if I just click on that, nothing happens. You have to click on to the explore our plans or go deeper. So if I go to explore our plans, it's going to get me to this page. This is gonna be your standard page where you can change your plan. I have the premium, so that's what I'm currently on. It'll tell me I'm currently on this plan, yada, yada. Gives you some more information. As I scroll down, you get to compare the plans, compare features, but here's where things get a bit more interesting or complicated. So this is their available markets section underneath, okay, underneath the plans. So what you're gonna be looking for is this section right here in terms of getting access to whatever extended features or real-time data that you may not already have access to. So for example, if you want more OTC stock information, what you're going to get, or you're gonna to have to pay $3 a month, US dollars a month, it tells you right here, to get that information. Otherwise, you're delayed by 15 minutes, okay? So this is important stuff. For example, this future section right here, the CME group, E-mini included futures right here. This is $5 a month. I believe that is what I pay for as well now. This is one of those added on features that you're gonna have to pay additional per month to get access to. And really it comes down to whatever features you want, okay? So for example, if I wanted to subscribe to the real-time markets, I click on that blue button right there. Then I can go through and select what's or what I want to subscribe to. So for example, this right here, the CME group, E-mini futures, this spot where it's $5 a month, I have already selected that and I've already subscribed why it's kind of um, grayed out or that box is already selected. So I can't add anything on each month, but if I wanted to get OTC stocks, I can add that on for an extra $3 a month. Or if I wanted to get the Toronto exchange, that's an extra $11 a month. So it really comes down to what you need, what, different markets you're tracking and following. This is just North America. I can go over to Europe, go to the Middle East, Mexico, Asia, wherever I want to go. And you'll have access to all of these futures, all of these different exchanges and markets at your fingertips, but it will be for an additional fee. So if you are using TradingView and you do want to get access to the information and data, that is something you have the ability to go ahead and do. You can change it from monthly to annually. So for example, if I was to, let's say, I go to the monthly option right here and I was to utilize the futures that I currently pay for five bucks a month right five bucks a month times it by 12 that's five times 12 that's 60 bucks per year right if I go to annual it'll then say 60 bucks per year sometimes these things can be discounted a bit but um, for the most part you know it just depends on how you want to pay for it monthly or annually it doesn't matter to me it's the same price either way sometimes they'll have a, a deal where if you pay annually you save a few bucks uh, in this case you don't so 
that's how it's done. That's how you go ahead and add that. Once you go ahead and add it, for example, uh, it's actually pretty straightforward if you have a card on file for already using TradingView. Let's say I wanted to add OTC, click on the OTC, click on next, and I have a card, payments, PayPal, crypto, however I want to pay, uh, I can go ahead and do that. So super easy as long as your card's on file. If you're already paying for a platform, you should probably already have one on file. And then you can add it on and you're going to get billed every single month. So that's how it's done. Any questions, leave them linked up or leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer those if you have any. But that is a quick little tutorial on how to get to this page for those who've had those questions and have been asking about this in the past.